you know essentials here so i picked up this old chair a long time ago to see if i could change the entire look and i started by cutting out the fabric to see what's underneath and it was not good at all so i decided to throw the seating away to just use the chair frame alone now this wood was from an old dining chair of mine that i converted into a table and the link for that video is going to be in the description box below now i used the saw to cut out the back wood that i have on this chair And this wood that I just cut out is going to be used to make my own design for the chair. Now these two straight pieces with this shape is what I'm going to be using at the front. I'll be placing this wood from my old dining chair first to know what space I'm going to be working with. The next thing I did was to pre-drill holes and use screws with glue and a drill gun to attach the wood to the chair. Before I go any further, if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I already attached this wood to the front using wood glue and screws. Now the wood that I put here is going to be taken out and then I'll be using corner braces to make them sturdy on the chair. To give me the curve that I want for my design, I'll be using a hula hoop. And I cut this hoop into two. And then I'm also going to be using a pool noodle. Now I'm going to be putting this hoop inside the pool noodle. This is going to be attached to the wood that I have on the chair using screws. One was looking too thin for my design, so I added another one. I'll be using one inch foam to cover up the noodles. I glued the foam to the wood because the pool noodle was kind of melting when I added the hot glue there. Now I'm going to be attaching the wood to the chair using screws and then also covering it up with foam. I used the same measurement of foam used to cover the pool noodles at the top to cover up this part down here. I want the back to have a slight curve, like what I have at the top here, so I cut a little bit of the pool noodle and added a short piece of hula hoop inside, and I attached it to the chair using screws. And then I cut off the excess on both sides to make it leveled with the foam. I'll be making tufts all over the chair. And this cutout board is going to help me with that. This is what I'll be using for the tufting when it's in the foam. Now I'm going to be rolling it to make it easy for me to have a nice curve that I can insert inside the chair. I covered the top with foam and then I made points all over the chair for the tufting and after that I made holes on those points using a pair of scissors.
I left the top for now because I wasn't so sure if I was going to add tufts there. So the whole thing is going to be covered with batting. I got this fabric from Hobby Lobby and that's what I'll be using to cover up the whole chair. Now for the tufting, I'll be using a staple gun and I'm also going to be using screws and washers. Now these are two different things that I choose to use only because I have wood and I also have a cardboard. Before you start tufting, remember to cut out the batting that's on the hole to make it easy to use your staple gun or the screws. I had a feeling something like this was going to happen pretty soon, so that's why I prepped out my screws and washers. So the screws is going to go into the washer, and then you can use either a drill gun or a screwdriver for this. When I was done, I folded the excess fabric and glued it to the bottom using the hot glue gun. Fold the top because of the curve. When I got to this point, I had to fold the fabric like this before making the tufting. Remember when I said I wasn't sure if I was going to add tufts there? Well, I decided to do it to make it appear on the entire chair. I'll be applying glue to the excess fabric and then I'll be tucking it inside in between the board and the pool noodle. The finishing in front didn't go the way I hoped, so I covered that up with diamond wrap that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be attaching this diamond wrap using tack nails and a hammer. I left the part that's going over the chair, and I used nails again to finish it up at the back. I use this large crystal buttons to cover up the holes here. And then I added a smaller crystal button. And after that, I added smaller gems to give it a pattern. I folded and glued a diamond wrap here. Now at this point, I would like to say that this is what I want. Now you don't have to do this if you're making yours. You can just leave it bare the way it is. I added a large crystal button in the middle alone and then added more gems besides the diamond wrap. I used gems for the tufts all around the chair and this is the final look. This is an accent chair and I really love the way this turned out. And this will look good when it's in a pair and they're together. So I'm going to be on the lookout for something similar to what I had at the beginning of the video to make another one. This is what the chair used to look like before. And this is what it looks like now. The chair is strong and sturdy because I used an already existing chair to convert it to this one. I hope you all enjoyed the video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.